Population genetics, gene pools, and speciation mechanisms. Population genetics, one of the three legs on which the modern synthesis stood, applied new mathematical and statistical methods to analysis of changes in frequencies of specific alleles in natural populations. Populations share a common gene pool because they breed freely during sexual reproduction. Natural populations are defined as part of a biological species when they breed freely and successfully in nature and produce viable offspring. The population genetics paradigm, stated briefly, is that biological species may diverge into distinct species when reproductive isolation of a natural population disrupts gene flow and causes gene pools to diverge. Some of this divergence arises by means of natural selection, while other forces that change allele frequencies, such as genetic drift, random changes in allele frequencies, also play important roles. In other words, reproductive isolation can lead to the origin of species. This led to a greater understanding of speciation mechanisms, a subject that is certainly relevant to evolutionary theory. However, critics of the modern synthesis correctly point out that population genetics does not help us to understand how specific combinations of alleles interact to generate particular phenotypes. When individual genes, alleles, and mutations are treated as proxies for phenotypes, this obscures the molecular, cellular, and developmental links between genetic information and biological organization. Today, we understand quite a bit more about those links. This topic will be discussed further in chapters 12 and 13. The scientific literature on the modern synthesis culminated in the publication of several definitive books in the 1930s and 1940s, including Systematics and the Origin of Species by Ernst Mayer, The Genetical Theory of Natural Selection by Ronald Fisher, Genetics and the Origin of Species by Theodosius Dobjansky, Tempo and Mode in Evolution by George Gaylord Simpson, and Huxley's Evolution, The Modern Synthesis.